all kinds of just inane compliments. And he did a really nice job. Thank you very much. I hey, thanks for inviting me to Sheboygan. coming up here, people. U.S. Senator Ron Johnson is going to be wrapping this up for us. But I want to say a few words about who you are. Let's see. Let, let me channel my inner Maxine Waters. Terrorist. How about that? And she says you can go to hell. Wait a minute. Let me channel my inner Joe Biden for a second. to just this week? Nazis! Yeah! The left only marginalizes us because that's all it's got left. Why would they seek to marginalize a bunch of patriotic Americans who want their country and their state back? Because you're making a difference, and a big difference. Labor Day weekend, I'll get to Labor Day in a second. 
on Labor Day, what makes it so special? We need to start letting people know why freedom works. It sounds, it sounds easy to say, fly a flag, wave a Gadsden flag, put on a button, mine says socialism sucks. Why freedom works? Why it works as a model for society, as a model for policy, and as a model for life and government. Less government, more freedom. More freedom, less government. What do you prefer? Closer toward more government, less freedom we get. We get ever less freedom to the point where we get tyranny. Start to give the young people of this country and your neighbors who might not be too involved in politics a reason to start paying attention to what we have to say. What we are simply trying to do is free people from what right now is the 900 pound gorilla of the size of the federal and state government. We are now looking at 2.4 trillion more dollars to borrow from China. They're going to get to the point where they don't want to loan us any more money. We're 14.3 trillion in debt and I didn't even include Social Security and Medicare. That's a 900 pound gorilla, or let's call it a 14.3 trillion pound gorilla on our shoulders, on our children's shoulders, and on the shoulders of young people who have not even become an idea in the minds of their parents who are probably only in kindergarten right now. This is about securing the survival of this country for people who are going to be here in it when we're long dead. That's the legacy we are going to leave for the country. That's the legacy we aim to leave here beginning the process of reform in Wisconsin. Now let's talk about Wisconsin. I'm from Madison. I know you're sorry. Thanks for, thanks for feeling bad for me. I am a, I am a bomb throwing right winger. I was called the queen of mean right wing radio ranting. You can all call me Queen Vicky. I like that. Queen for a day. Your Highness is okay as well. Madison, Wisconsin. What is going on in Madison, Wisconsin? It's still going on, by the way. The folks who understand that simple explanations of why liberty is a model is a very appealing thing for young folks and average Americans to hear, why the idea of having more of their own money, more of their own freedom for themselves, making more of their own decisions for themselves, it's a very appealing idea when you start talking about it, and the left knows that. And Scott Walker understood when he imparted the collective bargaining changes that it wasn't going to take very long before even public employee union members started to realize